Okay, the other day I had occasion to run a M800 ECU uh, project on a mainline dyno with their new uh, control software on the mainline dyno. And it makes it really easy to import CAN data from the ECU into the dyno system. Uh, but it doesn't have a template for the M800. So I built a CAN template for the dash because the car had a C125 dash on it. And we were able to then transmit the data from the M800 into the dash and then from the dash over to the mainline dyno so that we could have the channels from the M800 in the dyno. In order to do that, the mainline dyno was set to receive the M1 CAN data, that standard um, transmit message that comes out of a MoTeC M1 ECU with like say GPR or GPA, MoTeC's standard general purpose firmware. Uh, so you have to mimic that message using Dash, Dash Manager. And so this is a little tutorial on how I did it. So step one was to simply create a new Dash config to test with. So I went to File, New, and then I selected M1 uh, as a base template and clicked OK. And it built a new Dash file with the M1 communication template, receive template in the CAN1 um, receive or the CAN1 setup. Then I built some custom transmit templates to transmit the data to the ECU on the exact same CAN bus. So for example, uh, I, I did a new transmit template and I'm just gonna edit what I have here. So you set the parameters here for the transmit message and you see I'm transmitting on the same CAN ID 640 that the receive template is set to from receiving data from an M1, which is what the main line is set to also. So I go to transmitted channels. You have to make the message type single, single type message and then add the channels you want to transmit. In this case, engine RPM. Now these settings and the resolution and the multiplier and the divisor you can get a concept of where those messages are by going to the receive template. You can see that on CAN ID 640, the first channel is engine speed. And here's the settings for the receive template on CAN ID 640 for engine speed. You can see that we have a multiplier here of one and a divisor of six. That means when I transmit out on my transmit message of 640 for engine RPM, which is a different channel from the M800, I have to flip-flop it. I have to multiply by six, divide by one, so that it comes out with the right channel value. So the next thing is, if these channels don't exist, um, the easy way is to go to the calculations menu, go to constants, and add all the channels that you want to transmit as constants. Now, normally, you could use the simulate function in the dash to change values, but for whatever reason, when you do the simulate function in the dash and you try to change the values on these channels, they aren't actually, the values aren't actually transmitted over CAN. So it doesn't, it doesn't change on the receive template. So the easiest way to do it is just do a little constant setup with all the channels you want to send so that you can set the values to whatever you want and test them. But once it's finished, you send the config to the dash. And then we can go to online and monitor channels and verify that we are receiving the signals. You have to do some work on the potentially the multiplier and divisor, but this makes it really easy to be able to tell what's going on. So if you look, here's all the channels that I'm transmitting from the M800 on the left-hand side and the resulting channel on the M1 side over here on the right. Same thing with RPM. And same thing over here with duty cycle. Duty cycle is a special case along with efficiency point. Efficiency, because there's a um, conversion from 16-bit to 8-bit, you lose some resolution uh, on the engine efficiency channel and on the injector duty cycle channel to the point where, for example, on the duty cycle channel, if I were to make this 75.5, I would either get 75 or 76 for the resulting channel uh, on the M1 receive temp template. It doesn't exactly match up. But that gives you a starting point to be able to uh, set up some channels to transmit out 
with the same message type that the mainline dyno is looking to receive from the M1 ECU. And, and when you transmit the messages out on that same CAN ID, uh, the, 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 the dash here is set up to receive the channel, so you can test it in the dash, and then you can connect the CAN bus to the mainline dyno, and you could get rid of the receive template at that point. You don't need it, or you can leave it there. You're not supposed to be able to hook the transmit and receive template to the same CAN bus on the same CAN ID, and Dash Manager will complain that there's something on that CAN ID already, but it'll go ahead and work anyway. So um, you have to do the single message format, so you only get four channels per CAN ID. The remaining channels you have to put on another CAN ID, increment it by one, and you get the channels and the list by going to the receive template from the M1, and here's all of your channels and all the different CAN IDs. So if you were inclined, you could transmit all of these appropriate channels that match what you're trying to send into the main line.